Okay, I'm going to try to uh, do this as best I can. I don't have a professional camera, it's just my phone, and I don't really make videos like this. So, anyway, here we go. Um, first of all, you can go into LED Blinky Config in your LED Blinky folder. Um, game options, this is how I have it set up. You know, light game controls, light player start and coin buttons. Um, I don't have any gameplay animation because uh, I just wanted the uh, the actual uh, controls lit for you know whatever uh, system you're playing or whatever game you're playing. Um, I do have uh, flash player start with credits checked. Um, game start animation, you know, it's just you know whatever pattern. You know, there's a whole list here you can select just whichever one you want. So. <laughs> Whenever the game starts up, it'll play that pattern. Um, I don't have anything else, you know, changed here. Uh, your front end options. Uh, well, obviously up here in front end, you're going to select hyperspin. Um, you know, if you have hyperspin or any of the others. Um, but then you come here to your your front end options. Um, same thing here. Uh, front end startup animation. I have it the same as the game animation. Um, uh, front end active, so whenever you know your front end hyperspin's running, uh, it'll continue to show this pattern while the front end's running. Um, I have it all set to the same, so it doesn't change. I mean, you can set them to whatever you want. Um, I do have when I quit the front end, you know, hyperspin, it does play a different pattern. But like I said, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, I haven't messed with the screensaver at all. Uh, over here, um, the hyperspin tab pops up when you select it under your front end there. Um, down here, you have to select your hyperspin settings. It's normally in, you go to your hyperspin folder, your settings folder, and it should be there, settings.ini. So just go there, select that, you know, wherever it's located. Uh, and then I have this checked hyper launch used to run MAME or other emulators, because I obviously have hyper launch set to run everything in hyperspin. So, uh, you know, make sure you select that folder and that if you have hyper launch. Uh, the MAME config over here, it's pretty self explanatory. You just go through. Uh, your main config folder, which is normally, you know, in your hyperspin emulators folder, you know, whichever you know, I'm using main UI 64 as my main emulator, and then you just go into the folder uh, entitled CFG, your config folder, uh, and you just select that one, and then uh, down here for the colors I and I, uh, this file should be included with LED Blinky, uh, like if you actually purchased LED Blinky, uh, the full version, uh, it should have that in the LED Blinky folder, so you just select that one. Uh, your MAME XML, which is obviously your uh, list of all your MAME games, which should be in your Hyperspin Databases folder under your MAME folder. And so you just select that one there. Uh, your Controls I and I, this one should also have been included with LED Blinky. Same thing as before, you just go into the LED Blinky folder and select it, and that should be good to go. Um, I don't have anything set up with audio animation. Uh, miscellaneous options is pretty much, I just left it be. So you just go up here, you save it, and then you can close that out. Um, now the really complicated part is your LED Blinky Controls Editor. You go into this. Um, normally when uh, you first open this, you probably just have default and maybe the main one. Um, default is just default, I haven't messed with that. Um, so for each emulator you have to go in and set what you want the controls to look like and how they're lit up. Um, your MAME, um, you know, it has some games set up here, but it should be, you know, when you configured it in that, uh, the LED config, uh, it should automatically use that color file and the uh, XML file, and already uh, it should automatically put in the right, or display the right controls for each game in MAME. Uh, but all your other emulators, like here you can see all my other emulators here, you actually have to go in and set these up. So, uh, like, you know, for Atari 2600, you go in here, oh, and the name, like when you click on new, the emulator name here has to be exactly how it's listed in your database for your main menu. Like when you go into uh, the hyperspin uh, folder and you go into uh, the databases, there should be one called like a main menu, and that's list all your emulators there. So this name has to be exactly uh, what that name is to so it can detect it correctly. Uh, so we'll just cancel that there. Um, so once you create that, um, you can come over here and you can click on new um, or you know, when, you, when you click on new it'll pop up with this um, 
And uh, when you click a new one, sh there will be a little box over here that says default. You can click on that, you know, and then that'll create this one that says default. So it'll come up like this. So there's your little default tab. Uh, and then you got to go in and you got to set each control and what you want them to look like. So uh, for uh, for my Atari here, I have you know the um, yeah you got to set up each joystick position you have to set up as well. Uh, joystick up, down, left, right. I have them of course all set to the same color. So uh, so no matter which way you move the joystick, it's going to be the same. But you could also, you could set them to different colors. So you move it down, it changes to green, left, blue, you know, right, yellow, you know, however you want. And then you have to set up each button individually uh, for what color. So obviously Atari has one button on the joystick. So my button one is the uh, you know the joystick button. Button two and three I set up as my escape and uh, let's see here what is that one? Oh, pause. Uh, so those are you know my escape and pause buttons on my control panel. Um, but you know when you go in here to do this, you would just click on new, and up here you select you know what button you want to use on your controller. You know you like if you're setting your uh, joystick, you would come down here to joystick up but I've already selected that so so say um, you know I want to do uh, uh, my fourth button you would select button four and th these should be the buttons that are actually how you have it wired to your Haller controller and then you come down here and you can select your color so say I want this one lit up in yellow so it would be yellow but make sure you come over here and you select which um, Oh, I'm sorry. Up here, th this is just keeping track of which button, how it's listed. This down here is the actual position on your controller and your uh, control panel. So if I actually want the button that's wired to uh, number four on the Haller controller, I would select player one, button four, which as you can see on my actual controller, there's player one, button four, and it's lit up yellow since I selected that in the uh, control. So, let me get back up there. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then here you select what you want that button to activate. So, like say, like say uh, I have in this game I have uh, the letter you know uh, X on the keyboard set to do something in the game. So what you can do is you can either come over here and actually scroll down to you know, key code X right there. Select it and hit, you know, move it over like that. Or you can just hit quick key and actually touch the physical key on your keyboard and it'll populate that for you. And then, you know, you hit OK and, and it'll pop up down here. And you have to do that for each individual button uh, that you want displayed, you know, in color on on your uh, your file there, so do that for each button and each position of the joystick. And if you want two players, you, know, you select two players here, and then you have to go through and do the exact same thing for player two. And like I said, you just go through and create each cancel that. You go through and create each emulator, and for each emulator, you have to go in, you know, and select your you know hit click default, and then how you want it to display for. Um, for your game. Like for Neo Geo, um, I have it set up to where the joystick is like white and then I have the actual four buttons, you know, arranged in the actual Neo Geo colors, which is, you know, like like red, yellow, blue, green, or however it's set up. So just do that for each emulator. Um, set it up, set up, you know, each key in each joystick position and uh, and it should work for you. Uh, and if you have any any other questions, uh, just you know, leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. All right? Hope this helps.